we are Dreadlight, um, as you probably already know, <laughs> as you can tell by our name tag. <laughs> That's great. We're answering questions people asked us. Cool. Did you know that? I had no idea. <laughs> Let's just jump in. Sweet. You want to read the first one? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how long have you been playing together? Um, the first time we ever played a song together? I guess it's all the same. What was the first song we ever played together? I think it was, I don't, okay, the first song I ever heard you sing was that one song. You remember? Okay, shh, don't tell me. <laughs> it's a Paramore song, and it's one about radio waves. <laughs> Airwaves. Oh, oh, yeah. We were born for this. Born, born for, for this. this. We were born for this. <laughs> it was born for this, and I said that you had an amazing voice, and you're like, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, because I didn't believe it. <laughs> also, you were singing along to the track, oh. so it was a blend of you and Haley Williams. Yeah. So you know, but <clears throat> I like I'll to take credit. Yeah. How long? How long? Uh, six years. Then. Uh huh. Okay. So six years. The first collaboration I remember. Oh no. Oh, I guess that's the next. The next question. What's the next? Question? <laughs> how do you write songs together? Oh, I misread that as. <laughs> when did you start writing songs together? <laughs> I was gonna say that your song, I wrote a guitar. Did I write a guitar part for it? That song that almost turned into that one song mm -hmm. that almost ended up on the album. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that we cut as we were recording it. <laughs> oh. You played guitar and hated it. And I hated it too. We, were, we both hated this song that we were working on, so we tried to like pin it on the other person and be like, yeah, it's mostly her song. <laughs> I feel like it was mostly you doing that to me, but... <laughs> did I really? Yeah. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, I mean, it was really subtle, but I could tell. Wow. <clears throat> Anyways, how do you write songs together? <laughs> Back when we first tried writing songs together, we were so uh, shy, and you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> we were so scared of honesty <laughs> um, <clears throat> and the other person's judgment that we would have to hide under blankets in order to even read lyrics we'd written or play something we'd written, because it was too scary to face the other person knowing that they're gonna have an opinion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now, I think what usually happens is one of us will just have an idea and we'll be inspired and make some like audio clip on our phone and send it to the other person and the other person will be like super excited about it and then that's usually like 90% of songs end there. <laughs> um, yeah. But when a song is completed, what happens is the other person will have an idea or something and we'll start kind of building off that. When will you start using a live drummer? In, one as of recording this, you gonna count the days? I already know. Oh, <laughs> four days! <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Four? Yeah. I thought it was eight. <laughs> okay, it was eight last time I counted. It's Tuesday. I know. Okay. It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I it forgot. Tuesday? Yeah, yes, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. We're using a drummer for our Limbo EP release show at the Hawthorne Theater. April 6, 2019, in yeah. case you didn't know. We invited our <laughs> studio drummer, has so graciously agreed to play with us on this show and any other shows coming up. Yeah, which is super exciting. Yeah, he's For amazing. <laughs> Thank you, David. Thank you, David. <laughs> if Dreadlight was an animal, what would it look like? Could be mythical, alien, etc. I imagine something dark, furry. Mm-hmm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Not> dark... <laughs> Dreadlight is our first home. <laughs> like dark fur with like red. And I also think this creature is something that looks and feels really scary or like dark, um, but is a very sweet, yeah. loving creature. Like a hellhound that just wants to play fetch. Yeah! That's, that's us. Yep. <laughs> What does the future of music sound like? Let me just go into the future. Go into the future. Are you going to the future in your mind? You got Good. a time traveling device in there? Yes. What am I gonna wear tomorrow? Probably what you wore today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think there's like a melding of genres kind of happening. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we're kind of coming from a place that was based in real instruments and moved into a more electronic zone and have been there for quite a while and, and we're I think, like so excited about all that we can do with, like, yeah with technology and tools. everything and now I feel like those are kind of blending yeah I think that the only next step is to bring those two things more closely together 
favorite kind of socks? This is from Maya, isn't it? Yeah. Shout out to Maya Wynn. Yeah. I mean, I know my favorite kind of socks. What? You know so quickly? Yeah, you think I about socks a lot. I love socks. Fluffy socks. Mm. With no plastic smushies on the bottom. <laughs> I hate the smushies. I mean, that's like a slipper. It's a slipper sock. That's what it's called. I really? really? Yeah. It's not a slipper. It's a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I don't like is, like, you buy them and they're great. But then, like, after, like, five times that you wear them, I they know. get matted. I have these socks that I steal from my mom. Sorry, mom. Um, and <laughs> they're, like, tighter around the middle. And it feels like it's hugging Ooh. your foot. No, it's lovely. I hate it's those. It's lovely. <laughs> um, Enjoy it's it. It's tight everywhere, but slightly tighter around yeah. the middle. My problem is socks always slide around. Yep. And so this woven differently around the middle sock is the solution. My favorite pair of socks that I own. I have mint green, oh, it's something pink. Pink umbrellas. There's pink umbrellas on a mint green sock. Those are my favorite. What's the story behind the name Limbo? Okay, so we decided to split our full length album into three EPs. We're trying to figure out how to like categorize them into something that could be themed and like move through like a story. It was gonna be um, Dusk, Dawn, and then Limbo. So we had Dusk and Dawn and wanted something that felt uh, very, very different. Yeah, something like in between but n like neither. Yeah, in between but neither. Yeah, yeah, I think that was exactly what we were going for. Okay, last question. Um, how do you describe this EP compared to the others that you're releasing this year? This is the most uh, hectic and lost and... It's definitely the most, like, chaotic. Yeah, I'd chaos. Say. The yeah. other ones are very different, but still Dread Light. I think, imagine whatever Dusk and Dawn feel like, plus Dread Light, and there you go. <laughs> In one of those, there's a song we've never played live or released <gasps> ever. Oh no, I'm so excited! So keep your ears out for that come Halloween, and yeah. Thank you. That was good. Cool. That was crazy. 